Hi everybody, it's me again and this time I'm bringing to you some first impressions on drugstore and high-end but they're not high-end because I got all of these for sale so I didn't spend as much money as I thought I would. I've got these over the past couple of months so I thought I need to get out the old and bring in some new stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. If you're new to this channel, would love you to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell. Uh, and also, I'd be really appreciate a thumbs up. There is some oldies in here, but that's because I haven't got new ones of them. So I've had to revert to older ones. But yeah, this, there's a nice array of new stuff that I have got. I've got Tarte, I've got Elf, I've got Morphe, I've got revolution i've already prepped primer skin because we've all seen that step so many times before i don't think i need to go into it and if you haven't then if you want to check out my channel you'll find where i do actually use all the products so the th first thing that i'm going to go in with is the kika wonder eye cracked up just a little bit just under these big bags and i use my finger because then i don't get as much product underneath and it still conceals so much better this isn't no this is old but when needs must the next thing that's new that I haven't tried before is the Tarte high performance shape tape matte foundation and I got the color light neutral this is the packaging I think this is gonna be too light and this is the color so I did get like sand i don't know we'll have to see and it is the one with the big doe foot i didn't know i just this was on offer so i was like because don't mind 10 pound off thank you very much for a new foundation i'm just going to start there i think and using my beauty blender just going to tap it in so i see what we get So I think on this side I'm going to use the Beauty Blender and the other side I'm going to use my brush. Very light coverage. Yeah, extremely light coverage. So on the brush side, let's see what we get out of that. Definitely better coverage on the brush side, but I like the blend of the beauty blender so what i'm going to do is brush it over and then go over the top with beauty blender so let's see if we can build this side is going to build up because the beauty blender but we'll see if this side can let's do this side first that's for built up lovely on that side really has i'm just going to go over yeah this takes a little bit of coverage off not a lot because that looks stunning and it's covered what i want it to so i say this is a medium for my because i know people that are saying oh but when i try it it's low coverage depends on what's on your skin I've got no acne scarring I've only got like sunspots and freckles to cover so for me this is medium but other people might say it's low medium so that is that and I like that I'm gonna have to see how it wears that's nice it's really nice and again everything that is new was on sale I also got from Tarte this is the it's like a contour bronzer and it's called the Tarte Breezy C. No, sorry, the Tarte C Breezy. Um, this is only a mini. I just looked at it and I was like, I needed to put my car up to a certain amount. So this is why I got it. I'll give you a swatch. So it is quite warm. So I don't know how they're saying this is a contour. Is it a bronzer? This is a matte bronzer, so I'm just going to go in with 
a brush I think and just put a bit on there and just stamp it into my skin okay this is blending out beautifully it looks darker there than here but I think that's the sun that's doing that this is nice this was £10 I think which is a lot but for a mini but I paid £10 for a lot of minis that colour is lovely on me so I'm an NC20 that's nice I do like that very much so that's that's really nice so for concealer I am trying out the the concealer I'm trying the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers concealer and it's one that's like looks like a heart and I've got the colour so I've got this in praline so I'm praying lean then that it's good <laughs> for my colour it's a weird love art do applicator oh that's orange no I can't use that that's orange never fear I have a new another new one and this one is the revolution concealing divide conceal and define infinity that's what that one's like I am just going to beauty blend this out this is more of a color corrector I suppose because you use it, use it as that but that looks pretty under the eyes that looks nice I know I've not used a lot guys but that looks nice if that was actually a lighter one and not a cre cre peachy coloured that's that's that looks really nice very light coverage though but then I didn't use a lot because it was the wrong colour so I got the Conce Revolution Conceal and Define Infinity in 4.5 which is again the wrong colour okay not having much luck with these I'll leave them both down in the list but not the colour shade because obviously they don't match me so but I don't want to get a third concealer out I don't it's making my under eyes look very dry that one not as nice as the first one I'm going to be setting it with a KVD Beauty locking powder yeah this definitely hasn't made it look any more drier just looks the same and to set my face I'm just going in with a Lottie Ready Set because I know this works and it, it won't alter my foundation so not that it needs a lot because it's already like set that foundation was set nicely I think I lose more powder putting it on than I do any other time contour because it's called a contour from morphe so i'm just going to slightly bronze, bronze up contour so this is what it looks like guys so that's the two colors together but i'm not i'm just gonna do a bit of contouring with this side because i've got another bronzer that i want to try so oh okay nice for that i don't know how i would feel using it as a bronzer part but we'll have to see because it went on quite dark to start off with but i tried it and the next bronzer that i'm going to try and i know it's a lot of bronzers but just thought i'm in the mood so this is the tarte princess park have a new princess and again this wasn't on sale this is the only thing that wasn't on sale but i've been wanting this for so so long and this is in number two i don't know if there's a number one or not this is what it looks like it's ginormous it's got a nice big mirror on it and this time going in with a black fluffier brush 
because I've put so much on already, I don't want to go overboard. Oh, that's nice. I didn't think, I thought it'd be too dark for me, but it's not. It's just bronzing up my cheeks, lovely. Yes, guys, I know I've used three technically, but it's warmed me up. And that's what you want. It's to be nice and warm. I do like that. Even though it doesn't look like I've used a lot, it's still nice. I thought it was going to look really dark. It might look dark in there till I edit it and it won't be dark. So for blush out, I've got these blushing babes. And I got mine in Talk Flirty. It's like a mauve coloured tone section, which I do like my mauve coloured tones. So there were the swatches, the three swatches. And I do like the first one. That looks really nice. Bright pink and then like a more muted one so i think i'm going to go in the more muted one but it's got a bit of shimmer so and start at the back so it looks shimmery on my swatch but it doesn't pull on this that's nice then i'm going into this morphe eye impact highlighter in the shade extra i'm a little bit extra oh i'm not it's broken so i won't be using that. <laughs> i know as soon as pull it out that's just going to go everywhere so i'm not going to be using that so sorry guys i'm going to use this health shimmering highlighting powder and we got another one highlighting powder and i don't know if it's all over powder or whether it's a highlighter we will see because i've not even looked so this i've just taken a swatch this is what it looks like guys and i'd say that's an highlighter so i'm going to take my highlighter brush dip it in and so this has got a little bit of glitter formula on it which does emphasize my skin not that i don't i don't mind that I just don't like it like here and it's not giving me that grey cast which is really good because some highlighters can do that so this was the shimmer highlighter I saved the other one for another video that looks really nice bronzer looks really harsh but it's not and then just powdering it just to mesh it all seamlessly together I'm not I'm just using my pad brush nothing on it that's nice I do like that that's really nice nice highlighter a little shimmery but now it's been meshed together it looks so much better so I have got the revolution I heart revolution pineapples brightening makeup setting spray so let's give this a try smells a little bit that mist is gorgeous it really is nice and I went out and got myself one of them fans so so the next thing that I'm going to be using is for my hat eyebrows and this is the Kevin Aquan one that I picked up at TK Maxx so I thought I'll give this a try today to see if I like it it's a really thin pencil I've not used a thin pencil before so I don't know how I'm gonna do this because when I've done it so although this is blonde it's not it's uh Quite, quite a weird formula. It's gliding on nicely. I just, I think with this, I would use this just to put in because I'm not happy uh, with the colour of these brows. So I'm just going to go in with a bit of my Kiko pencil and just put a bit of warmth through them. And once my eyebrows are redone. 
it'll be go and have them reshaped and everything and then I'd be able to fill them in a lot better so but I'll keep trying with it so after one go and I've never used this well I have a couple of skinnies but brow pencils there's no I'm not with the other one I just go straight through and that'll do um, so really I need to learn how to do my brows so I'm just using the Urban Decay uh, primer for my eyes and then I'll draw you guys in so you can see what well I'll show you what I'm doing next I'm not going to do swatches on this because at the end of the day the, these products have been out a long time and people have done swatches so if you want to go and do the, get all the swatches then you can do but for me this is the Tartis Pro Tart. This is what it looks like. So these are the colour. I'm just going to probably do a very basic neutral colour because it's what I like, it's what I wear. I really need to clean my brushes. So first of all I'm going in with it with the cream just at the beginning. I'm just going to put that just on the top part to set to blend my eyeshadows. I must admit, I do like Tarte's formula of eyeshadows. They are good. Okay. And then, I think I'm going to go in with this. It's like a lilac light purple. Because it's like a purple palette. So, but I don't want to go to... I might have to change my top. So... Hot pigment. I's got a little bit of fallout in the pan, kick up in the pan. So sorry, I meant to draw you in. Here I am, going off on my own. So. So then I think I'm going to go in with Bold, which is this bottom colour just here, on the outer part of my eye. And just above my crease. But I'm not smoking it up. taking it across the bottom lash line stay which is the one next to it slightly darker and just put that on the outer part of my eye as well and I'm gonna blend these two together just to darken it dipped in once and I've been able to do like both sides so it's quite pigmented I'm just blending them I'm blending them into the crease to darken the crease and I'm going to put a little on the bottom lash line of that colour just there and then I think I'm going to go in with this colour here and I'm going to use my finger um, because I know they apply so much better with finger because um, like I said I do like top Tarte's performance on eyeshadows they blend seamlessly and they work and I don't really want this like I might actually go in with the top one a little bit as well change the colour slightly so going back in with bold and just going to put that off the crease so I can do some blending Let's see. we've got a blend guys we've got a blend I 
don't think I like that first colour that I put down. Not first like it looks. It's that colour just there. But it don't look like that on the eyes. It looks like a gold. So just going in with the top shade again just to pack a punch with it. So I know for a fact that I like this palette because um, I like Tots Formula. But I'll probably be coming with more reviews and more things on it. It's a stunning palette and I know I like it. So that's, that's yeah, really nice. Yes, I know I'm sad to put it back in the packet. So I'm going to go off and do my mascara and then I'll be back. So hi everybody, I'm back and this is not the finished results because I did get when I ordered from Tarte, they had these two like mini packs. So these are the Sugar Rush from Tarte and I got two of them. So I'm going to try them, both of them, if I can get into them. This one is Dragon Fruit. So I'm just going to try this one and see. I don't know what they are, but they look like a glossed stain. Clear gloss. Just a plain old clear gloss. It's got a sweet taste to it. Then this one is Sugar Rush Tart in Sugar Coat and it's Cake Pop. So this looks more like a colour. Just going to wipe that off and see what this one looks like. So this is slightly thicker. It has got a slight colour to it. But my lips are actually darker than this. It looks like I've lightened my lips. It's smooth, it's comfortable. They were free based, they were not that nice. Would I buy them? Probably not. Full sizes, will I keep these? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. You know, these would be nice for just dropping in my bag to use. Sort of it, pan. I can project pan them next year. So that's what I'll probably do. That's quite nice, actually. So guys, a round of the new products that I've used. The ones that I'm not particularly fond of is this. And earlier it cost me 2 99 so I'm not too mad at that. It might suit my daughter a little bit better because she's brown hair. Although so this is for blonde hair, it's just a little bit too much of a pigment for me. I wouldn't wouldn't want to repurchase this again. The concealers, I do like the uh, I Heart one, but in my shade, uh, but the coverage is not brilliant. It probably one that I put in a project pan to pan. I don't enjoy this, but again, I could use this as like the colour corrector. Same as with both of them. That's all I'd probably use them for is colour corrector and a nice lightning one underneath because I just don't, I feel flat at the minute. The Revolution Spray, nice, makes you matte. Just needed a bit more, why not? Love this, this is like top drawer status. This is, I can't, I can't say top drawer status because I ain't got a top drawer. I've got, in my top drawer I've got bronzers. So it will be in my top drawer but it be, it's one that I'm actually going to keep out to keep using because I do like this a lot. Um, the Tartus Pro. I'm going to give this a few more goes, so you'll be seeing this in a few videos anyway. But yeah, I love the formula on it. The Morphe Brontor. Not as impressed as I am with the Tart C one. Whether this will just probably go in the drawer and never see light day again. Park Avis and New Princess, love, love. These two together are perfect. So just just pulling it out there. Um, this is really nice from Morphe, the Blushing Babes. Uh, we'll continue to use that. The Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation. 
yes i like the finish of it i'm going to see how it holds up on my skin but for now it's a winner and the health highlighter again really nice a um, little bit of glitter for that but the longer it's on the longer it does it just looks nice and molded into my skin so really nice so yeah really just four flops oh and these little pop things that they're nice they're a free base so i can't really complain it's not like i paid for them um but what's the necessary probably not but at least i got to try them and that's it guys so hopefully you enjoy this video of first impressions on these products that i've brought so hopefully you enjoyed this video of first impression products and you'll be hearing updates from me down the line at some point and whether i carried on using them what i felt about them in the long term so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this and i will see you guys in my next one thanks so much for watching bye